Upon arriving on Cronus, General Lucas Alexander became Governor Militant and set about reclaiming the planet for the Imperium. When his enemies launched attacks on his capital, he prepared to repel them with extreme prejudice. Experts in planetary defense, the men of the Imperial Guard, were heavily dug in and fortified in Victory Bay. Any attacker would face well-armed and well-supplied soldiers, backed by powerful armored columns and artillery positions. The Guard's only real weakness was its morale. Although most soldiers served honorably, the men of the regiment's 5th Company had proven less than stalwart and were placed under command of Regimental Commissar Anton Gebet in a forward base on the northern shore of the Victoria River. Without Gebet's whip, the company and its base would surely fold. Other companies took position in forward bases in more sensitive areas, ready to drive the enemy off. Still, determined attackers could overrun those positions. Governor Alexander remained confident, however. Indeed, any opponent who made it past his forward positions would find themselves staring down the barrel of the massive Hellstorm cannon of an Imperator Titan. Fifth Company, this is the moment of truth. You will not fear. You will not falter. You will not give a single step to the enemy. But, sir... If you will not serve in combat, then you will serve on the firing line. Enemies of the Imperium, hear me. You have come here to die. The Immortal Emperor is with us and we are invincible. His soldiers will strike you down. His war machines will crush you under their treads. His mighty guns will bring the very sky crashing down upon you. You cannot win. The Emperor has given us his greatest weapon to wield. So make yourselves ready. We are the 1st Cronus Regiment, and today is our victory day. Death has come for you at last. The Necrons are here. Drive them back to their tombs, men. It is your men who go to their tombs, Governor. Platoon, attack! Thank you. 
you will see what it means to face the Imperial Guard. Artillery, open fire! My command, fire the Titan cannon. Fire! Begin recharge. I want that gun firing again. Attacking forces. This is Governor Militant Lucas Alexander. Your commander is dead. You cannot win. Lay down your arms or be destroyed. Titan cannon power grid is under attack. Redirect fire to protect it and initiate repairs. I will ease the machine's pain. Just keep it online, Tech Priest. <laughs> Protect those generators, men. Time for payback! I am under attack! Protect those generators, men. Attacking forces! This is Governor Militant Lucas Alexander. Your commander is dead. You cannot win. Lay down your arms or be destroyed! The power grid is gone, but the Emperor is still with us. Give them hell, men!
Ghost is gone. We can't hold them back much longer. We can't allow the Titan Cannon to fall into their hands. Overload the core. Oh, the Emperor. had faced Necrons before, notably on Lorne V and Verdus Prime, and it had cost the champions of man dearly each time. On Cronus, things only got harder, and when the Necron forces swept into Victory Bay, even the raw power of the revived Hellstorm Cannon could not stop them. The Necrons showed cold contempt for the works of man as they murdered the last tech priests and guardsmen in Victory Bay. With none left to fear them and none left to die, they simply moved on to the next conquest. The remains of the great Titan gun they ignored altogether, even its mighty power paling in comparison to the galactic genocide their gods demanded.